What's going on, y'all? This is your boy Dante562 again, man. I got to talk about this Lamont Peterson situation and the whole, you know, Olympic style drug testing situation, period. You know, this situation, uh, it, 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 it is bothering me a little bit. It's bothering me for um, a whole bunch of reasons, you know. I mean, number one, I mean, we have to say, if it wasn't for Floyd Mayweather bringing this up, and Floyd Mayweather Sr. Actually, Floyd Mayweather Sr. is the is the main person who brought this up. Floyd Mayweather Sr. was was talking about Manny Pacquiao, you know, needing to be tested. He was talking about this all the way back when Floyd Sr. trained uh Ricky Hatton to fight Manny Pacquiao. Way before there ever even was um, way before there ever even was talk of Mayweather fighting Pacquiao, you know what I'm saying? This this situation with Lamont Peterson it brings much more light to a to to a to a situation or a topic that nobody really wants to address. Everyone wanted to make this seem like Floyd Mayweather was just being scared, and and he had no reason to think that Manny Pacquiao was taking, you know, some type of, um, you know, PEDs, which is performance enhancement drugs, you know. Now, the thing with Lamont Peterson is you would never expect someone like Lamont Peterson to cheat. You wouldn't expect him to take any type of, you know, enhancement drugs. You would never expect him, you know what I'm saying? And this is the reason why you cannot go off of a person's personality, how soft they speak, or or if they've ever been, you know, caught before. You cannot go off of that. When it comes to this sport of boxing, a physical contact sport, this should have the this should have the most strict drug testing than any sport. I mean, you look at track and field. Track and field, what are they doing? All they're doing is running. And and why is it they have the most strictest um, drug testing, you know, period? It's obvious because it's an Olympic sport. But it's just amazing that you, in boxing, you actually have people juicing up and then punching other people in their head, you know? The, 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 the point that I'm making is this Lamont Peterson situation proves that everyone needs to be tested, and especially Mr. Manny Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? I am a Manny Pacquiao fan. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Floyd Mayweather fan too. But I'm going to tell you right now, Mayweather, I'm, I'm going to be going all over the place with this conversation, so just you know, try to follow me. But Mayweather, every, every fighter that he has faced since he has come back into the sport, He's had all of them take Olympic style drug testing. Ortiz, Mosley, Miguel Cotto, they all took the test. You know what I mean? Manny Pacquiao is now the odd man out. And I would like to also bring up the fact that if for those of you who watch a little bit of uh UFC, um Alistair Overeem, who was about to fight for the UFC heavyweight title. A tremendous, big, swole, you know, cat that was really, really talented. You know what I'm saying? I was looking forward to watching that fight. He was on. He was. He was involved in Olympic style drug testing as well. They showed up at his training center, caught him off guard, tested him, and the rest is history. He failed the test, and that fight is postponed, just like the Lamont Peterson Amir Khan fight is. You know, for those of you who follow the sport of boxing and 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 defend people like Manny Pacquiao and, and say stuff like, oh, you know, Nevada Athletic Commission, they already have drug testing and stuff like that. You know, Floyd Mayweather just is looking for a reason. To, he's looking for a way out of the fight. He doesn't really want to fight, et cetera, et cetera. Let me tell you something. There is a tremendous difference from Olympic-style drug testing 
and just standard and just standard drug testing. It's a tremendous difference. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and what one difference is when it comes to regular drug testing, they test you a couple times, I think once or something before a fight. But they but see the difference is they tell you when you're going to be tested. They don't just show up and surprise you. They tell you, say for instance, you're going to be tested on May 14th at two o'clock. Okay, cool. And then you're going to be tested again after the fight. So you know exactly if you're a cheater, that's a piece of cake. You don't tell people when they're going to be tested because then they can prepare for it. And that's exactly what some of these drugs allow people to do. You know what I'm saying? If any of you guys ever know, if you if you if, you, if any of you guys know who Victor Conti is, Victor Conti is the is the guy who uh, was arrested for the Balco scandal. You know, he's the one that um you know was um giving all of these um giving these um performance enhancement drugs to all of these big time athletes like Shane Mosley, Miriam uh Jones from um from track and field, a whole bunch of other people. But he himself yeah and, and you guys if you guys um probably go on YouTube and um you can probably search it. He has a he has a pretty um interesting interview where he tells people exactly how you can take these, you know, these, um, these, um, OP, I think opium is some type of, um, enhancement drug, which it gives you tremendous stamina to where you can, your, your lungs open up and you can box for like 20 rounds and never get tired. You know what I'm saying? Um, he was basically explaining how you take it without being detected, you know, and, and you guys should really try to research that. Um, it's a very, very interesting, um, topic, but, um, like I was saying though, um, you know, this um this drug testing thing is starting to get really serious. Lamont Peterson, he should be a poster he should be a poster boy for um, you know, serious punishment for cheating using 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 um peds, you know, or peds, whatever you want to call it. Um Manny Pacquiao his story is very similar to um, Alistair Overeem, the guy I was talking about earlier from the UFC. You know, Alistair Overeem, he used to fight as, um, I think he was like a middleweight. He was a real light fighter. You know what I mean? Real light fighter. He was a middleweight or a light heavyweight. Real, just a real skinny guy, right? All of a sudden, you know, he he loses. He gets knocked out. He takes a couple losses. All of a sudden... A year or so later, he comes back looking like the Incredible Hulk. He put on about 30, 30 to 40 pounds of pure muscle. This dude looks like a Greek god. You know what I'm saying? Just muscles all over the place. The rumor had been forever that Alistair Overeem, he must be juicing. And Alistair would always laugh it off and say, look, man, I am the most tested guy in the, in the UFC. I'm not on anything. And you couldn't prove it because he never, you know, he never failed a test, right? That story, as far as I'm concerned, is very similar to Manny Pacquiao's story. You know, Manny Pacquiao started off as like a, a flyweight at 105. You know what I'm saying? And he, he, you know, he had a couple losses on the way. All of a sudden, as the years go by, he starts to get a lot more muscular. He gets a lot more muscular, you know. Um, He's very dominant. Now, when when Manny Pacquiao fought Eric Morales, see, this is what I find very interesting. Because Manny Pacquiao, he said the reason why he doesn't want to take, you know, Olympic style drug testing or whatever is because he said the last time he had blood taken, you know, before a fight. A day, couple days before the fight, or, or a day before the fight, or whatever it was, the last time that happened was when he fought Eric Morales the first time, which we all know that's the fight that he lost, right? That's the fight that he lost, and I find it very interesting because I remember when I watched that fight, I said to myself, Manny Pacquiao, he doesn't look strong at all. You know, the first fight he had with Eric Morales, he didn't look strong at all against Morales. You know, and I found that very interesting. 
but in a but yet and he ended up losing that fight. In a rematch in the in the last two uh in the last two uh rematches, you know, he turned out he destroyed Eric Morales. And and I just want to get I just want to make this clear, guys. To all my Manny Pacquiao fans, I'm not saying that this guy is on it, but I am saying that some of the things that he has done is pretty, pretty impressive. And I just want to know for sure. That's all I'm saying. I just want to know for sure. You know, I want to know for sure. Like I said, Manny Pacquiao, he jumped through all of these divisions. Now he's a welterweight. Now he's knocking out full-blown welterweights that other that other welterweights can't even knock out. You know what I'm saying? It could be just power. It could just be power. Or it could be he's cheating. Lamont Peterson is a prime example. Okay? He's a prime example that anybody could be cheating. Anybody in the sport can be cheating, and Lamont Peterson proved it. You know, Lamont Peterson proved it. Manny Pacquiao, like I said, after three or four or five people have taken a test, there is no reason for Manny Pacquiao to not take this test. I mean, this is no different than if I was working at my job, right? And all of a sudden, out of the blue, the, the, the boss comes in and says, oh, guess what, guys? We're about to do a random blood test or a random drug test right now. You guys all have to take it or quit your job. Everybody takes the test. Guess what? I'm the only one that says, you know what? I'm going to quit. Why should I have to take a test? This doesn't make any sense. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't have to prove my, you know, prove that I'm on something or, or I'm not on something. I'm just going to quit my job. I'll go get another job. Now, would that make any sense? If everybody else took the test and I say, oh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to not take it and quit my job. Well, in a way, when you think about it, that's kind of what, what Manny Pacquiao did. Even though Manny Pacquiao is, is saying that he's willing to take the test now, but I'm just saying before, and we don't even know all of the detail of him even, you know, saying he's going to take the test now. But what I'm saying is, we know, well, basically what, what I'm saying is, Manny Pacquiao at one point, he could have just said, you know what? You're scared of me. If Manny Pacquiao really feels that Floyd was scared of him, to me, that was more of a reason for him to take the test. Because he could have been like, oh, man, I got this dude shaking. And this guy is so scared of me that he's asking me to take a test. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take that test. And then I'm going to say, now what's your excuse? That's what Manny Pacquiao should have did. Because I want, I want Manny Pacquiao fans to understand this because this is what they always say. They always obviously say, oh, Manny's, oh Mayweather's running. He's afraid. Let me tell you something. I'm not going to sit here and BS. Mayweather has ducked some fighters before. You know what I'm saying? Mayweather has ducked fighters before. But when Mayweather ducks someone, Mayweather does not negotiate with them. You know what I'm saying? When, May when Mayweather chose not to fight Margarito, he didn't say, he didn't go into negotiations with Margarito. He didn't ask Margarito to take a drug test. Right? Same thing with Cotto. He didn't he didn't ask Cotto to take a drug test when they first when when Cotto was first calling him out. Matter Mayweather just shrugged it off and just said, you know, they're not ready for me, blah, 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 money, whatever. You know what I mean? But Mayweather never sat down and negotiated with him. People have to understand this. After when Shane Mosley jumped in the ring and challenged Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather was still ignoring Mosley. Floyd wanted to fight Manny Pacquiao. So, so even though Mosley called, even though Mosley called out Mayweather in the ring in front of the whole world to see who was Man, who was Mayweather negotiating to fight the following week, he was negotiating to fight Manny Pacquiao. You see what I'm saying? When Manny Pacquiao said, "I'm not taking no drug test," that's when Floyd Mayweather said, "Okay, fine, Mosley, you gonna call me out in front of everybody?" Okay, and he took that fight, and we and we know how that went down. You know, so I mean, and then and then you got some people, some of my friends, they they sit here, they, some of my friends, they sit here and they say crazy stuff like, um, what 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 do you say? 
my one friend, he was like, man, and so what if Pacquiao is on steroids? Well, you know, Floyd Mayweather shouldn't even care. Just take the fight. You know, this is what, and this is what people, a lot of people think. Even Larry Merchant himself, I heard Larry Merchant say in an interview, and I beat, and I bullshit you not. Larry Merchant said, look, man, even if, even if Manny Pacquiao is on steroids, who do you know that has been so good on steroids? What proof is it that being on steroids makes you fight so much better? Can you believe this? Can you believe someone like Larry Merchant says something like this? This man is condoning people cheating, right? You condoning people cheating, you know? I mean, it, it, it's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. So my whole thing is, Manny Pacquiao, you need to take the test, man. You need to take the test. And you need to clear yourself. You need to clear. You need to. You need to clear your name. You know what I'm saying? And Lamont Peterson needs to be suspended. Well, I know he's going to be suspended. He needs to be suspended, and they need to make an example out of him. You know what I'm saying? Like I said at the beginning of this video, if it wasn't for Floyd Mayweather, no one would be negotiating random drug testing. You know what I'm saying? Amir Khan and Lamont Peterson or Amir Khan, he you know, he did that because of because Mayweather. And now we know that this drug that that, that you know people taking steroids and all that kind of stuff, it exists. Okay? So that's this is my two cents on this. You know, um you guys go ahead and give me your feedback. Let me know what you think. And 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 I just want to say this because I know how people take their 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 favorite fighters so personal. When you guys start saying stuff like gay weather, Pat Tard, and all that stuff, you are already diminishing everything you say once you start off that way. Because when you start off that way, you're already letting people know, I don't like this guy. So if you don't like the guy, how are we supposed to listen to whatever else you have to say? Because you're already letting us know that you're biased right off the top, right? I mean, that's like if that's like if um if we found out one of the boxing judges he goes around calling you know Floyd Mayweather gay weather, you know what I'm saying? Do you think people are gonna let him judge the fight? No, because his decision is already made up before he even does the fight. So my point is, if you if you want to make a good point. Talk with sense. Talk with sense. You know what I'm saying? Make sense. Make a point that sounds professional. Don't come on here, gay weather, packed hard, oh, I hate, and all of this. Because once you say that, you are you fall in that category, you know, of idiots, which no one takes your comments serious. Okay? So that's all I got to say about this. And um, you guys have a good one. Peace out.